Welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been a hot minute since I've been on. Do you like my, uh, this is like my homemade coffee with milk. It's more milk than coffee, but what are you going to do? I know it's been a hot minute since I've been here. Um, June, we're doing June empties today. And honestly, it has been one of my busiest months of the year. I had family functions every weekend. It was crazy. Work has been crazy. And I just haven't had enough time to just sit down and, you know, film. But now that we're into July, it's not as busy uh, with family functions. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to incorporate more videos. Hopefully I can get one up every week. But today we're doing June empties and uh, I have my little my little empties bin here. Uh, I'm going to run through these products and then um, let me know down below if there is anything here that you're interested in or you've tried and you've liked or you don't like. I'm curious to know. Um, so I'm going to start off with my tried and true my Listerine. This is the Cool Mint uh, flavor. Um, I I like this flavor more than the green one. This is the blue one. I don't know if you can tell there's a little blue there. Um, the only thing is, is that I'm noticing Listerine because of the high alcohol um, dosage in here. It, it seems to bother the lining of my mouth and I know that a lot of people have that problem that have turned their mouthwash over to a natural brand like Tom's or um, they've just switched over to like non-alcohol base so I I still love my Listerine and I really do um, think it's a great one if you can tolerate the alcohol in it um, for me Oh god, I have a sneeze. Sorry guys, it's it's allergy season. For me, I do go back to this from time to time, but I now switch it up with non-alcoholic um, mouthwashes like the Crest one is a good one I do like as well. So um, you'll still see this. It's just it's it'll be in rotation because I can't I can't tolerate it um, all the time with my mouth now. I think now that I'm getting older my body's starting to change and shift and just some products not that they don't work as well for me but they just they will either irritate me or bother me in some way and I have to kind of shift my um, my product whatever product that I'm using hand soap do I have only one? Oh yeah I only have only one this month so I have one hand soap this is the Golden Sands Foaming Hand Soap by uh, Bath & Body Works. It's the Coconut Water uh, Freesia and Vanilla. Loved the Golden Sands. Tried to find this one again. Couldn't find it. I did go to Bath & Body Works yesterday and pick up a, like, literally stack of, uh, of soaps because they were on sale. Six for, like, 22 bucks. Plus, I had 20% off coupon. Um, so, each... Each soap came out to under $3, which was amazing. Um, so I stocked up on those. You will continue to see these in my empties. I prefer this hand soap opposed to drugstore brands. I don't know why, guys. I think it's just the scents. They just please me a little bit more. Um, otherwise, soap is soap. You can really definitely go to the drugstore and pick one up there if you really wish. I just prefer these are my favorite. So it, it brings me a little joy in my day. Um, I have repurchased, will continue to repurchase Bath & Body Works soaps. Uh, what else have I finished here? So, here is a package of face shavers. Um, yes, I do shave my face for those of you who may not know. Excuse me, I'm breaking out. It's gonna, my, that time of the month is coming. Um, so I do shave my face, but, uh, I dry sh shave my face. Just the peach fuzz around here. Uh, mainly around here and here. Um, I don't really get much fuzz anywhere else. So I did pick these up at Winners. These were $7 for a pack of six. It's kind of expensive. I can usually get a pack of 15 for like nine bucks. 
uh, on Amazon. So, you know, I will go that route moving forward. Um, but, you know, they're, they're not sharp, sharp. They're just enough that they take off the peach fuzz. They don't like cut you or anything like that. So, I mean, if you don't want to go on the Amazon route because, you know, credit, you need a credit card, all that kind of stuff. Um, check out Winners TJ Maxx's. They do have these there available at your fingertips that you can that you can pick up right away. Uh, quality wise, I feel like they're the same quality as the ones on Amazon. So like they're not any different. You just get a little more when you buy on Amazon for what you pay for. Um, face wipes, face wipes, face wipes. I am, I'm actually impressed with, with these. I, uh, I was actually impressed with these. Got these from Influencer in a care package and um, these were nice. They took off my makeup. They were refreshing. They do have, do they have uh, glycolic acid in them? No, they do have a lemon fruit extract. I thought they had something to help with acne. Uh, benzoic acid. Um, that's the only thing I see here that maybe potentially could help with acne. But they were nice, you know. Um, would I buy these again? Probably not. I don't like this this functionality here. Like it, this paper needs to become a plastic closure, like the Kirkland brand ones. Those are nice for that reason. Um, the only ones I would buy that have a paper on them is the Neutrogena ones because they're my favorite. But the Clean and Clear, I'm just, you know, they were okay. I just would not buy them again. Clean and Clear is a pretty expensive brand at the drugstore. So, I mean, you know, I think for a pack of these, it's like 10 or 11 bucks. It's just like, really? For makeup wipes? I could just get a pack at Costco and be more cost effective that way. Um, but you know, if you are wanting something to try new and you know, you need a little bit of a change for your wipes, these are, these are decent. They do work. Like they do take off the makeup. I wouldn't use it as your only makeup remover step, but they do take off makeup. Joe Fresh Cotton Rounds. I am putting this in the garbage because I finished them up. They were good. Didn't have an issue with them. They st they stayed together. They didn't flake or fuzz off. You know, they did the job. Um, I am parting ways with the Banana Boat SPF 50 sunscreen. This is actually expired April 2019, so I have to let it go. Um, I normally I will stretch a lot of my makeup and my skincare as far as it can go before it expires with SPF I don't like to to mess around with that only because it's SPF it's supposed to protect your skin um so I am letting this one go but I will repurchase I mean it is summertime so I will need a new bottle um I actually had a brand new bottle when I came home from Mexico and that one was didn't expire till next year but then customs not customs Security took it away from me because I forgot it in my in my uh, carry-on. So I totally forgot to stick it in my luggage. But anyways, so I was a little bit bummed about that. Because these things are not cheap. These things are not cheap. They're about, they range between about $12 to $15. Maybe even more depending on where you get it. So I know what you, what you guys are feeling too. Um, oh, I have a little sample here of the Versali Unicorn Essence Skin Blur. Um, this was good. It was a serum. I mean, it was nice. Would I get this again? I don't know. Like, as a primer, it's not enough for me to actually, to actually want to buy a $70 bottle of serum. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I did do my hair this month. Uh, of June because of the uh, numerous occasions we had so I did have the high color blacks for dark hair this is in black sapphire I have a backup of this you guys know this is my hair color that I've been you know going towards since I turned my hair dark and then I have a L'Oreal preference uh, color refresher I think I used a box color once when I was in a rush for something so I had a leftover one of these it was sitting in my in my cupboard for a long time so I'm like let me just use it up it was just a, a simple conditioner with a bit of tint of dark 
to uh, refresh my my darkness um i'm letting go of my nyx liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade what is this brooklyn thorn um it does smell expired and i don't wear this color enough to use it up it's a beautiful color for the fall i will consider rebuying it when the fall time comes because it is so pretty it's very dark and vampy um, but I just, I have to let it go because it's expired and I'm trying not to hold on to expired stuff, especially lip products. Um, I have another little sample size of the Glam Glow Firming Mud Treatment. Um, I am not a fan of, of peel off masks. I'm not a fan. If I have to do one, I'll do one. But for the most part, I don't really prefer them. Um, some people just love them and like this is a good one if you want to use a firming mask that peels this one does not hurt it um, actually makes your skin look healthy once you take it off so it is a nice one it's an expensive one and um, I will not I have a full size unopened and I will be putting that one in my giveaway because I'm just not one for peel off masks. Like I'd rather just a regular cream mask that I could wash off. But this is a good one if you do like a peel off mask. It does leave your skin looking beautiful underneath. It's just, again, I'm just not a super fan of, of uh, peel off masks. I do like to use the little travel sizes I get from time to time. But other than that, I won't get a, like I won't stick to using a full size. Um, I finished a sunscreen. This is the, uh, what is this? Drunk Elephant Physically Daily Defense Umber Tint. Um, nice. I liked it. Not a total fan in the sense of wouldn't use this under makeup. It, it became a little bit, sorry, I got a sneeze. <coughs> Allergies. Excuse me. It became a little bit oily over time when, when you wear it. And personally for me, I can't wear sunscreen like this under makeup because it will break down my makeup quite fast. So this is something I would use maybe to the beach when I know I'm not wearing any makeup. But other than that, um, I don't think, I don't think I'll get this again. It was SPF 30, but I like something a little more higher for my face. Um, oh my God, look at this. It that's forming. Sorry guys. So, I mean, it's pretty expensive, and I can go with my Neutrogena Clear Face at 60 SPF, and it's a lot cheaper than this. So, I wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't get it in full size. If I get it in a travel, I might, I'll might use it, but I just won't buy it in full size. Not worth it for me. I finished a Anastasia Brow Wiz. I mean, I've had this for a while. It's The writing has run off. This was in the shade Chocolate. They actually changed their brow um, brushes. This is what the old brush used to be. The new brushes are a little bit smaller, which is nice. I do like it smaller. So um, I, I, do, I do have backups of this and I have I have repurchased. So I will never go without my brow, my brow tint. Um, you know, because it's summertime, you know, we all are shaving our legs. And this is a no exception. This is the Skin Tintimate Lotionized Vitamin E Shave Gel for Dry Skin. Uh, linoleum and olive butter. I love Skin Timid Shave Gel. I've never had an issue. I have bought them for years. I continue to repurchase. Usually I'll find them at Walmart for a pack of two or a pack of three and I'll buy them off the bat because it's worth it's worth it that way. So I will continue to repurchase. I have and I do have backups. They're different scents all the time. I switch up the scents all the time just to keep things a little fresh, you know? Um, I finished a vanilla apricot cleansing body polish by Arbonne. This came in a little travel set they sent me for free when I made, uh, an order. And, uh, I do love the scent of the, of the, um, of the vanilla apricot, but, uh, I don't think I'd get the polish again. It was not scrubby enough for me and I like something really scrubby. Um, scent is great, just... The polish itself, like the exfoliants, were not my thing. Uh, oh my god, guys, I have hair care, believe it or not. Can you believe I finished a shampoo and conditioner at the same time? That never happens for me. So, um, the Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner. 
these I have finished not a fan um I switch out my shampoo on the regular once I finish you know a set I move on to a new set I never keep the same shampoo long like repurchase uh, right after another because then I feel like my hair just doesn't feel clean anymore so I do change it up all the time this one um, I it was okay I would use these more in the winter because the Mar uh, Mark Anthony line that I've used twice now I use their Moroccan um, argan oil and their coconut or macadamia I think it was macadamia oil they were really hydrating and I feel like in the in the hot weather it doesn't go well with my my hair but in the winter time it does do wonders so I think those lines are mainly I'll use in the future probably in the winter time when it's colder another hair thing guys this one's kind of nasty this is the Numi hydrating mask they sent me this like years ago and I finally busted it out and finished it um, this was fantastic Probably one of the best hydrating masks I have tried in years. Um, I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Um, it's called the Hydro Punch. I need to look it up because I really did like this and I would consider buying it again. This was better than the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I'm just saying. Um, a body wash, you guys. The Aveeno Stress Relief uh, Lavender Chamomile. Love this. like to use this more so at night. But I love this. It really helps with the calming. I do suffer a lot from stress and anxiety, like I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Um, and I find that I try absolutely anything to help me reduce that, whether it's through a calming body wash, calming cream, um, essential oil, whatever the case may be. I do love this. I will repurchase in the future. I finished a setting spray, you guys, and it's very rare that I do because setting sprays I tend to go through a little bit slower. This is the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complex Pre Prep Priming Spray with Niacinamide, Coconut Water, and Septonic M3. This was a little travel size, um, came in a, in a duo that I picked up a while ago. Um, Honestly, you guys, I I wasn't a fan of this. I just used that as a priming spray and then applied makeup, but I wouldn't buy this again. It's not worth it. Um, okay, and then I have two more skincare products and we're done. So here is my uh, Andalou Naturals Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk. This is fantastic. One of my favorite products ever known to man I use this to wash my face in the morning it is delicious smells like ripe apricots real ripe apricots I cannot even tell you just go to a local store that carries your Andalou Naturals line and go smell this because this smells divine and it it works wonders I don't recommend using this to take off makeup at night. I recommend it using it in the morning as a refresher to your skin. You'll notice your skin actually stays clear and stays luscious um, when you're using this. That has been a thing. And you know what? It's not even that expensive. I think I've picked it up. I've picked it up in the past for about 10 bucks at TJ Maxx stores. But then if you get it regular retail, I think it's about 15 which is not too bad. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than a lot of your other cleansing uh, washes out there, you know, at Sephora. So this you'll have to get at a natural food store because that's where I've found, I found it in the past. Um, aside from TJ Maxx. My last product I finished is the Glam Glow uh, what is this power cleanse duo the so there is like an oil and a mud it's a disaster I'm not gonna take off the top but um, you know I uh, it was good I liked it it cleansed it double cleansed had no problems you know with it um, I can't really say anything bad from it I don't think they they have it in this in this version anymore they have it in the squeezy tube which I think is better because like the pump and this kind of stuff, you can't really get a, a lot, like a lot of the product settling at the bottom. So I do prefer a squeezy tube in that sense. So I'm glad they repackaged it. But you know, I had picked that up on sale for 10 bucks at a, at a beauty supply outlet. And uh, I'm just trying to use those up. So 
um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for my empties, you guys. That was my June empties. Um, honestly, it's been, it's been a hot minute, I know. And I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, I went back to the gym, uh, in May and, uh, I'm continuing to work through my health and fitness, uh, I gained a bit more weight back, so I'm trying to get rid of it again. Um, and, you know, my main focus is my health. Um, it's been really hard to juggle, you know, regular life, work, family, and, you know, my health with, you know, YouTube. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to film once a week at least, um, but, uh, I'm hoping to get back to two times a week if I can, if I can, you know, hammer out some videos. But that was my empties for June. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your plans are for the summertime. I'd love to hear your comments down below and talk to you. I'm going to go bring my bag of trash into the recycle bin. Um, and that way I can start fresh for July. Uh, let's see what we can finish in July. Cause honestly, I don't even know if I'll be able to finish anything in July. I have this feeling every month where I'm like, Oh, I'm not going to finish a lot in July. And then by the end of the month, I've actually finished quite a few things. So we'll see how it goes. Um, thank you so much for watching and sticking around. I love you guys. You're the best. And uh, stay tuned because I do have a summer giveaway coming. Probably we'll do it in August. Um, so stay tuned for that because that is coming. Cool? Um, thanks so much and have a great day. Bye, guys. Mwah.